If you like tuna, then you're going to love these tuna patties. First things first. So I always loved having these growing up and it's just another great way to prepare canned tuna. Now you can use a higher quality tuna like the brand Rio Mare or a regular can of tuna. Either is fine, whatever you choose. Both are great and both will be delicious. Drain the tuna as best as you can. This will help keep the mixture together without adding a ton of breadcrumbs later on. And it will also help the patties from falling apart when frying. Once the tuna is drained, you can add to a large bowl. Next up is about a quarter of a red onion, finely diced up or chopped and add to the bowl. Then about three tablespoons of fresh parsley, finely chopped up and add that to the bowl. Then of course, some Reggie, Parmigiano Reggiano. Finely grate as much as you like, and I like a lot, so a lot it is. Once done, add to the bowl. Next, half a tablespoon of dried oregano and add that to the bowl. Season with salt and freshly cracked pepper, and then grab panko or regular breadcrumbs. And we're gonna start with about half a cup, and if you need to add more later when we're mixing, you can. Then one cracked and whisked egg, and add that to the bowl. This will help bind everything together. Now everything so far that has been added is exactly the way I've had them growing up. But on this channel, we love our bomba sauce, so I'm adding some bomba sauce. And if you don't know about bomba sauce, I'll add a recipe in the description link below explaining all about it. And if you want, you can add dried chili flakes for some extra heat. Then we're gonna mix everything up with a fork or your hands and then make a patty just to see how well it forms. And if you need more breadcrumbs, you can add them. And this will all depend on how well the tuna was drained. And then we're gonna start forming our patties. I love a good patty recipe and you'll find a few others here on this channel. I have a ricotta patty, eggplant, salmon, sweet potato, and chickpea, and they are all delicious. So I was able to make about eight patties Place the patties in the fridge for about an hour or longer. This will help keep them firm when frying and will help prevent them from falling apart. Time to fry, shallow fry that is. Add enough oil, any oil will do. I'm using extra virgin olive oil and yes, you can fry with extra virgin olive oil. Add enough just to cover about halfway up a patty. And then once the oil is hot, add your patties away from you and fry each side for about two to three minutes or until golden brown and crispy. And once done, add to a plate lined with paper towel just to catch any excess oil and sprinkle a little bit of flaky salt and then you're gonna plate them up. You can garnish with some lemon wedges or even some bomba mayo and bring it to the table. So this is just another great way to use canned tuna. It's simple, with simple ingredients. It's crispy, flaky, delicious. Now you can add any other ingredients that you like in here. Um, so I hope you give this recipe a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.